yeah, hi guys. Just sitting here relaxing with my last pipe of the day. Uh, last light of the day. The fading light. Yeah, looking down onto the river. Having some good tobacco. This is a good, uh, good quality tobacco. Uh, I think one I've enjoyed a lot uh, over the years. And uh, not too long ago, uh, I'm not sure, perhaps a few months ago, someone in the comments, and I forget who it is, asked me about this tobacco and if I'd had it or. Yeah, I forget the comment exactly, but anyways, I think they asked if I could talk about it, and uh, yeah, so finally getting to it. But it's an expensive tobacco, but it's an interesting and a good, good quality tobacco. So uh, yeah, let me show you what the tobacco is. It's from uh, W.O. Larson. It's um, yeah, a signature. Here, let me show you better. Uh, see if you can see that. Yeah, a really nice tin. Beautiful tin, tin art. And uh, an interesting, interesting way they package it comes like this, uh, in this gold bag. It's not the typical flat, flat tin or, yeah, it's just a, it's an atypical uh, tin that it comes in. So, just a little unusual. That's nice. W.O. Larson's known for, I guess, being a, just a bit different. And, having some quality blends and uh, and I think part of it is shown in their packaging. Anyways, here's the tobacco. So you want to show you that. Yeah, they say it's already rubbed. Yeah, see that? But looks to me just like some various cuts. There are some flake parts, small pieces of flake in there, and uh, coarse cut, and um, some ribbon. So it's a varied, varied cut. They call it a ready rub, but I think that's a general term for any tobacco that's prepared to shove into your pipe. So I think that's all they mean by that. But what's in here? It's um, it's an aromatic. It's a heavy aromatic. It's Virginia, a couple of different Virginias from different places of the world. Uh, I think from, I think from the U.S. and from uh, Malawi, I think Africa, um, and then some Burleys. Um, and then black Cavendish, so it, it doesn't sound too unusual. Um, but for me, there's something interesting about this this blend, and uh, you know, I'll tell you in a minute what that is. But they say uh, that there's there's caramel and uh, a fruitiness and vanilla and kind of a citrus. And I think, uh, yeah, I think all those aspects are there. Um, but I think they're all kind of subtle to me. Uh, they all kind of blend together and um, make kind of a, a subtle flavor of just kind of a sweet creaminess, a little bit of fruity. But for me, that's subtle, and this is the interesting thing, and perhaps this is just for me, uh, 
with this blend. Uh, and one of the reasons why I really enjoy smoking it uh, in the fall and especially into the winter is, uh, and this could be just for me, um, I, I really get kind of a, a deep, earthy tone to it uh, as it goes down, down the bowl, and especially a pine note. Uh, I get the sense of, of kind of fresh, split pine uh, but also that that smell you can get the aroma of burning pine uh, so it's kind of an incense uh, in a way but not the incense uh, that we normally talk about when we talk about tobacco it's it's really for me on the on the pine kind of aside more more than perhaps uh, a cedar or some other kind of wood. So it's very, for me, it's a very specific uh, aroma of pine. And that's why I really enjoy this uh, tobacco and especially uh, as the weather uh, starts to chill and, and autumn is here and, and winter. For me, this is a really uh, good blend for, for those seasons, for that time. So, that's it, guys. Just wanted to share that with you. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are enjoying a good pipe. And uh, hope you guys take care. And we'll talk to you again 